Hi hey everybody, welcome back to my workshop. I'm in a good mood because I finally have four days off where I can spend those days in my hangar working on my airplane. Now I plan on doing a little bit of work on both of the airplanes, the Zenith Cruiser and the Kit Fox, um, but I'm waiting for some masking tape for the, the Cruiser. So this video is about the Kit Fox getting started in building this airplane that I bought as a kit that's already been started. Okay, I mentioned in the previous video that so far on the Kit Fox, I've been working on disassembling it because it's been sitting in a pole barn for a few years and it's quite dirty and dusty and I wanna get everything taken apart, get everything cleaned up, uh, some of the parts need lubed and that's kind of what I've been working on. So everything is pretty much disassembled from the airframe. I spent a few hours, to, well not a few hours, I guess 10 minutes <laughs> today building some uh, some sawhorses so I could lift the airplane up, up, up off the ground and finish cleaning the, uh, the dirt and grime off of the fuselage frame. I also have some parts here that I primed and painted that I'll show you. These are um, a lot of the parts that hold in the control stick or the base of the control stick. Now when I bought the kit from my buddy, these were just bare aluminum and they were starting to oxidize a little bit so I've I've cleaned them up, I've primed them and painted them, and now they look good. They're ready to install once uh, I do paint the airframe, of course. One of the other things I did today was I've taken out the elevator trim tab motor, and I wanted to get that cleaned up. I wanted to show you guys this flit. If you've never used this before, I'm not sure if you can tell uh, on the video, but this is an aluminum tube here, and it's, uh, it feels a little bit rough, it's a little bit corroded or oxidized, and uh, this flitz is great for taking that off and making it shiny. So I just take a paper towel, rip off a little bit, put uh, just a little bit of flitz on there, it doesn't take a whole lot, and uh, you don't have to use any pressure at all. You just kind of spread it on there like this, and you can see what it what it does to that. You just take the rest of the paper towel and you wipe it off, and that's it. Hopefully, you'll be able to tell on your screen the difference if you look at this side compared to this. It's real nice and smooth and shiny. So. That's what I use to kind of clean up all these pieces. I'll clean up the motor and this and just get it looking brand new again. I'm also taking this apart. I want to take these pieces off to clean, but also if you can see this piece here is steel and it's, it's not painted and you, if you can notice there's a little bit of rust forming on here. So I think this piece, I'll probably hook the motor up to a 12 volt battery and extend this all the way and then prime and paint this steel piece so it, you know, it doesn't rust. I also sprayed this with, uh, what is that, L, LPS 2 or 3, I can't see the can, but uh, just to clean that up too, now it's nice and smooth. So one of the reasons I'm taking everything apart on the fuselage obviously is to clean everything up. The other reason is because I'm going to paint some of these tubes black. Now I'm not going to paint the entire fuselage black, but the tubes that you will see in the cockpit area will be black. And to do that, I have a, this is my paint that I'm using to paint my Zenith Cruiser. It's a DeVilbus GTI Pro Light. Um, it's a real nice paint gun, but it's fairly large. And in this fuselage area, you can see that to paint all around these tubes, it's kind of hard to get this big paint gun in here and maneuver it without touching the tubes to spray all the tubes. So instead of using this paint gun, I bought this, uh, this little guy at Harbor Freight. And you can see it's about half the size of the other paint gun. Um, this paint gun came with another paint gun. They come as a set. The other paint gun is about the same, it is the same size as this, um, but I only wanted this one, but the, you know, you can't buy this one separate. But it was $50 for both paint guns. So they're cheap paint guns, but they do get a nice spray. They just don't last too long. Uh, but with this little gun, 
uh, it's going to be a lot easier to maneuver it around all of these tubes uh, just because it's so small. I'll just have to fill the, the paint cap here a few times as I'm painting, but uh, we'll see how this works. I'll let you know when I do paint, but this is a little gun I'm going to use for the fuselage tubes. All right, I have just spent the last two hours cleaning that fuselage. That is a lot of work to do because there are just so many tubes and so many joints to get a wet rag in there and, and really wipe it clean. But it's all done. That fuselage now is looking like it's brand new. It's perfectly clean. And I am ready to move on to the next steps. So what are the next steps with this airplane? Well, it's basically like I just got a new kit. It's ready to start building now. I've disassembled everything. I've cleaned everything. Those parts are ready to put back in and I'm ready to move on with constructing this airplane. Uh, almost. Obviously I have to paint the fuselage black first. Um, and before I do that, I need to scuff up the, the powder coating um, just to give the paint a mechanical bond, give that paint something to bite into. And I can do that either with a scotch brake pad like this or um, some sandpaper, maybe 400 grit. That I'll have to determine when I actually start um, you know, sanding it or prepping it for paint. But I want to get that painted soon so that I can get the gear put on and, and have this thing ready to go. All right, once I do have the fuselage painted, um, like I said, it'll be ready to start building, but what I'm going to do, since I bought this airplane already started, is I'm going to go back to the very beginning of the construction manual, to page one, and I'm gonna go through every step and just double check everything that it was in fact done. Um, you know, like I said, the, the wings have already been on this airplane, it's already basically been built, but I just wanna double check everything uh, what I do like is my buddy that, that started this airplane, he took the builder's log and every step in there when he was done with it, he put a check by it. So I do know that everything is done, but I think it's just a good idea if you buy a partially built kit to probably go back to the beginning and just kind of double check everything. It just gives you, the new builder, uh, a chance to verify that everything was actually accomplished and it was also accomplished satisfactorily. All right, that's kind of a quick and dirty uh, overview of where I'm at on the Kit Fox right now. My next immediate step is to get started sanding that um, powder coating or scuffing it up. I'm going to get it in the paint booth, and when I get the paint on it, I'll show you that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. There's a whole lot of more videos coming on building this Kit Fox and the Zenith Cruiser. Uh, if you want to check those out, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and all that YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.